last time. I'm giving you, uh, I'm giving you something. <laughs> back to my youtube channel thank you so much for being here and i really really appreciate your time so i'm gonna be doing this video giving my commentary my brief opinions on the single on with doja cat as a fellow nerdy girl or fellow blurred if you will and i'm gonna be kind of analyzing what i think is going on here so first and foremost i want to say that this is not a video to defend doja cat or any of her um, actions, tweets, or her time spent on Tiny Chat and the things that she said. I am not here to defend her. What I am going to do is try to kind of explain maybe why she's doing these things. I've been on social media. I've been watching a lot of the videos that people have been doing on this topic. I've watched Chrissy's video. I've watched Lovely T's extremely uh, detailed um, breakdown. I even watched Paris Milan's video earlier this morning. So I've watched a couple commentaries and I really haven't seen anyone as far as, you know, what I've seen uh, kind of tackle this angle. So I'm going to try to do my best and really um, just maybe give a take that no one is really talking about or at least that I've come across. So as I said, I am a fellow blurred and what that means is I'm a black nerd. And if you don't know anything about being a black nerd, let me tell you, it is... Now, should I say, it is kind of cool or kind of trendy to be into comic books and anime and all of these types of things, whereas uh, maybe 10, maybe 15 years ago, it was not. So um, it has been kind of an interesting journey being a black person or person of color, well, no, a black person and being into quote unquote white people stuff, comic books and anime and, and different types of lore. These are pretty much essential interests that have been, you know, associated with white people. And so back in the day, if you were a, a, a black person who was into, you know, reading comic books and into, you know, reading manga and things like that, you were oftentimes, you know, you would feel alienated if you were not able to find other like-minded black people like yourself in high school or you know whichever grade you're in so i feel like the piece of doja cat kind of being kind of should i say going in the direction that she has eventually gone in is a a piece of that is that rejection that she felt from other people of color when it comes to having those interests, let alone that she's biracial, okay? That's definitely something that's a huge part of this, obviously. And I feel like a lot of people have covered that in their videos already. But I think another, I really have to say another large part of why I think she felt geared to go in the direction of getting her, or should I say wanting attention from these type of uh, problematic, aggressive, racist white boys is because a lot of times when you are a nerd or a quote unquote gamer girl, um, you'll find yourself more likely, more than likely surrounded by white men. And so when you're trying to be a part of that culture, you will find yourself, especially if that's really what you want, you can find yourself trying to do what makes you attractive and especially when you talk about being a woman in this environment so this now, now this brings in the aspect of her being an like like this e-girl this e-girl persona you know that you know everything she does is pretty much modeled after either a video game character an anime character a manga character or some type of sexy spin on a comic book character um so all of these, that that culture, again, is still very much about the white male gaze. It, it just really is. And so I think that's a large part of that. And when I, okay, I knew about Doja Cat before she became famous, like as famous as she is now. I knew, I stumbled across her music on YouTube some years ago. And I could tell by her aesthetic that this is the type of, person that she was that she is that person of color that uh that girl who is into quote-unquote white people interest and um 
she is she enjoys being or should i say feeling like the token accepted uh black girls to these white people because she's not really she's not black and she would she wouldn't be black to me or black to us to, to black people but to white people she's not white enough to be white so she's black to them so she's the black girl that fulfills their fantasy that makes them feel comfortable around her that makes them uh felt like yeah you know this 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 black girl this black girl is sexy like that's i think her niche that she spent a lot of time in successfully and i got that from her now did that personally offend me when i you know kind of got that vibe from her no i went to high school with so many doja cats like i went i was friends with a lot of these you know really black girls not biracial but some biracial but black girls and biracial girls who oftentimes because we shared the same interests fell into these kinds of uh forums really and online spaces where it breeds this kind of like competition where you have black girls and and you know poc girls trying to get attention and you know uh points from these really like negative like really like incel-ish because you have a word for that now but just really problematic troubled aggressive like sad depressed white boys <laughs> and i've seen it so many times and i've always stayed away from it because uh <laughs> the type of the type of upbringing that i've had i have two black parents that were very much invested in um making sure that my self-esteem as a black girl was you know pretty solid as well as my grandmother and other like family members that took you know took their own individual parts and in making sure that I knew who I was and was proud of my blackness so that was never really the path for me at all possibly but I can understand how if at home you don't have black parents who or you in Doja, in Doja Cat's case you only have a white parent you don't even have a black parent who is there trying to help you you know really know who you are and be proud of that and then your interest in the culture that you surround yourself with is of these racist oftentimes misogynist homophobic negative white boys that kind of just make really gross jokes because a lot of these guys they'll never do anything they're, they're not the doers. They're not these type of guys. They are literally the type of guys who stream all day, play games all day. This That's what they're doing. Like, their life is essentially online. So, they may be big online. They may have tons of followers and people who like to watch them stream. People who, you know, jump on Tiny Chat with them. And in real life, they're nobody. They build these personas online that gain popularity and then you have people like you know girls like doja cat and other black girls or you know girls that are of color really wanting their attention and it's it's weird as weird as it seems i'm telling you there's like a whole subculture where this is happening and i remember when i was um really like tumblr tumblr popular i used to run into this all the time like i was you know pro-black i was a pro-black pretty black girl on tumblr and I used to run into these white guys that were attracted to me, obviously, because I'm, I'm gorgeous. But they, I could tell in our, when they would message me that they wanted me to, there was some type of fantasy overall that they were wanting me to, wanting me to fulfill online for them. And I wasn't going for that shit. So a lot of them were either like blocked or deleted or something like that. So it's, I'm telling you, that is real. It might not be something that everyone knows about, but this is really like a culture. This is a real thing happening. And I think a part of it is majorly that there's still restrictions on what young black kids or biracial kids, mix of black, can and can't do. You know, so partly, partly it is our, us, our, our community telling other, telling other black kids like, oh, that's weird or ew, why are you doing it? And then a part of it is just ignorance and not understanding cultures outside of what is, you know, obviously available to inner city black kids or even non inner city black kids. You're not going to know about it if no one presents it to you as an option. Like, hey, yeah, you can be into this. This is cool. You don't only have to want to play basketball and football. You can, you can do this. Like, you know what I mean?
I am, am genuinely shocked that people are shocked that this is what Doja is doing or that, or this is what she's participating in rather as of last month um, by evidence of her shirt being something that she just wore on the Instagram live. I, I'm, I'm shocked that you guys couldn't like pick up on this. Now, to focus on her being biracial and what I do believe are issues with her identity and how she looks. So Doja Cat is biracial. She has a white mom, a black dad, and her black dad is estranged. Her, her dad is not a part of her life, um, which I think is a part of why she may hate or dislike um, the parts of her dad that are inside of her or that, should I say, make her who she is. And that could be from years of hearing her mom talk bad about her dad or something like that. Or her family members talk bad about dad, talk bad about her dad. Um, and also the rejection that she possibly feels, you know, by her dad not embracing her more. And then only really talking about her now that she's famous and well known. So I think that is definitely, you know, some, some of that is going on in there. And I also think that... The reality is a lot of times in the black community, especially when you are dealing with a biracial person who is black and white, they can't go to the white community and be like, oh, I'm white, just like y'all. They can't do that. White people is like, um, white, where? Where? Like, they are not, they can't do that. But in a black community, somebody could be as racially ambiguous as they literally want to be. And we will still accept them as black. We will call them black. We will embrace them as black. We will defend them. We'll do all of this. And so there is acceptance here for for biracial people in the black community that's not available to biracial people in the white community. And I think Doja struggles with that because she knows she can't go and be, you know, a white girl and do pop and 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 be accepted as a uh, Ariana Grande-esque type of artist because white people are not reading her as white. She can't do that. So she has to kind of be where she will be accepted and go where she will be loved, which is the black community, which is a reflection of the parts about herself that she doesn't like, which is a reflection of the man who, she, who left her and her mom. So that's how I see it. Now, do I believe that she deserves to be canceled and all this stuff? I don't really know. I, I, to me, I'm not, I'm, I'm 27 years old. So I grew up not being a stan. This whole stan culture is not uh, normal to me. It's not something that I personally ever get into. So when I'm a fan of someone, I'm a fan of their music or their style. And that's pretty much where it stops. I don't really too much want to get into their political views and how they really think and really feel about the world because I don't really care so that's just me personally I enjoy Doja Cat's music um I like her kind of again that kind of her kind of representation of the black nerdy girl I appreciate her fusion of rock and pop and hip-hop and and even like island afro like I I appreciate that type of music but I'm not like devastated that she did this and I'm also not like so shocked and turned off because like I said I know so many girls like this and I think it's really interesting that this kind of discussion is finally coming like to the forefront of the public because for so many years I don't think this was really discussed outside of blurred communities because you can go on any of these these tiny chats, these 4chans, any of these blurred groups on Facebook, these, a lot of these communities, you will still see a lot of black girls and biracial girls who are seen as black really just thinking they have to do this type of stuff. If y'all want to cancel Doja Cat, that's fine. If y'all don't, that's fine. <laughs> I don't really think it's that serious. I mean, because like I said, I knew she was like this. I didn't know it was this bad though, I will say that. I didn't know that it was to the point where there's like a sexual aspect for her as well as a self-identity aspect all wrapped in one and which is why she is essentially being like an e-girl ghetto type situation. Like that's kind of what this is giving me. I didn't know it was that bad. So <laughs> I will say that, but 
yeah those are my thoughts thank you so much for watching please stay safe and take care bye